Welcome to What is a Basis Point? Basis Points Explained. A basis point is the smallest unit of measure on yields or interest rates. It's used in quoting yields or changes to yields on debt instruments like bonds. A basis point is also used in quoting interest rates or changes to interest rates on things like mortgages. A basis point is also used in quoting and comparing the difference in yields or interest rates between two instruments, and this difference is known as the spread. A basis point is sometimes abbreviated BPS. The nickname for a basis point is a BIP. A basis point is one one hundredth of one percent. You can write it as 0.01% or 0 0.0001, which is one ten thousandth as a fraction. Let me give you some examples of basis points. So 100 basis points is 1%. Therefore, 50 basis points is one half of 1%, 0.5%. 25 basis points is one quarter of 1% or 0.25 percent and then 10 basis points is one tenth of one percent or 0 0.10 percent now let's take a look at some basis point usage examples let's say the u.s. 10-year treasury bond is the yield is 1.73 percent you could also say that it's 173 basis points it's the same thing you're just saying it in two different ways. And let's say that the yield, that 1.73% yield, is down seven basis points from, let's say, a week ago where the yield was 1.8%. So in this example, the U.S. 10-year Treasury bond is paying 1.73%, down seven basis points from 1.80%. Then we can take a look at the two-year Treasury bond yield. And again, we can say that the yield is 1.56% on the two-year Treasury bond. It's down seven basis points from a week ago where it was paying 1.63%. Okay, So the 210 spread, and this is how we're looking at two different instruments, right? looking at the yield differential between two different things. So the 210 spread in this example is 17 basis points. And if you can see here, the 10-year uh, Treasury bond is paying 1.73%. The 2-year Treasury bond yield is paying 1.56%. The difference, 1.73 minus 1.56, is 17 basis points. So the 210 spread in this example is 17 basis points. Now, I'm going to give you some bonus material here, okay? And I'm going to do a whole other video, so please watch for that over the next uh, few weeks or so, uh, where I will talk about the yield curve and why it matters and how to look at it. But if you have a positive 210 spread, as we saw in the last slide, where the difference between the 2 and the 10-year Treasury was 17 basis points, in other words, the 10-year is paying more than the 2-year, that is called a positive 210 spread, that equates to a normal yield curve. Again, this is just bonus material, but uh, I want to uh, help you understand what this means and why it's so important. And this is just a real-life example of how to use the, uh, the, the basis points and, and looking at yields and the differential and the spreads. But it's so important for you guys to understand this. And then if the yield was negative, in other words, if the two-year Treasury was paying more than the 10-year that's called a negative 210 spread, and that is also known as an inverted yield curve. And so it is super important for you guys to understand this. A normal spread, a positive spread, is where the 10-year Treasury is paying more than the 2-year. A negative spread is where the 2-year is paying more than the 10-year. And that's also known as an inverted yield curve, and it has some potentially negative implications for the economy, and the stock market. But we will go deeper into that in another video. If you would like to find out even more about how to be a successful investor, I would highly encourage you to watch my information-packed Successful Investor webinar, which you will find on my YouTube channel. I will also leave a link to that video in the description box below this video. 
And so, guys, go out. You're going to love it. It's a, a little less than an hour. Let's just call it an hour long. It's going to be one of the most important hours you have ever invested in your financial future. I promise you. I have I've threw a ton of information in that webinar. Uh, you're going to learn a lot, and you're going to see how, if you're interested, how we can work together going forward. So what are your next steps? Watch my Successful Investor webinar. Watch my other YouTube videos. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for ongoing finance and success education. Give me a thumbs up on this and other videos that you like. Leave a comment on my videos. Share my videos and my YouTube channel with your friends, family, and colleagues. I sure would appreciate that. And please feel free to connect with me on social media. Thank you so much for being on this video with me. I really appreciate it. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video.